Hey, today I'll show you how to get XC IPTV player to your Amazon Fire Stick or any Android TV. XC IPTV is a media player which is going to allow you to use your live TV easier and in more comfortable way. And before we proceed, I just want to mention that this app is available in the Google Store, which means it's totally legal and you can use it without any problems. Now, first of all, we'll have to get an app called Loader. It's a free application which you can download from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search and start typing downloader here. As you can see, it already popped out here for me at the bottom. Just click on downloader and here's the app which you need to download. But that's not it, we also have to set it up. Hold a settings button on your remote with the three lines and go to settings. Here we'll have to click on my Fire TV. And in this menu, we got to enable the developer options. However, on some Fire Sticks, especially on the new ones, the developer options might be unavailable by default. So if you cannot find the developer options, no worries, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and then click on the middle button on your remote four or seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you just go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps and make sure to enable that option for v loader. So what it does, it allows us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So here's the downloader application. It's set up and ready to use, but there's one more thing which I really recommend doing before actually using the downloader. To be transparent, it's not mandatory, but I really recommend doing it. It's of course connecting to a VPN. There is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I do recommend NordVPN because they're fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices as well, such as your mobile phones, your laptop, PC, or any other device. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. So what a VPN does, it hides all the things that you do online. So your landlord or your internet provider will not be able to tell what apps, what websites you're accessing online. And that really comes in handy. NordVPN is also great for blocking apps, blocking malware, especially when loading files and accessing geo-blocked content. So if some content is not available in your country, you can just open VPN, connect to a different location, and you will be able to access that content now. So if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but it's a big plus. If you don't want your internet provider or your landlord to know what you're doing. After we got a VPN connected and set up, let's open the loader. And here in that search bar, we'll have to type a code which is going to be 28907, and then you press on go. Then a website is going to open, you'll have to scroll down a bit until you see a list of categories, and we have to select the IPTV players from the list. Then you'll see the list of applications, and we gotta click on XC IPTV. Then a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down, and keep scrolling until you see those two download buttons. So there is the regular version and ad-free version. So it's completely up to you which one to download. Now the download has started and it may take quite a bit, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Then click on install in the right bottom corner. After that, press on done so we could delete the installation file because we don't need it anymore. So click on delete. Now when you go to the list of apps on your device, you will see the XCIP TV here. To make it a bit easier to use, press on the option settings on your remote and then move to front. This way it's going to move the app to the front list of your applications and every time when you open your Fire TV, turn it on, you'll see it at the front. So let's open the app now. And here in the app, you can either enter your IXC API link or go to settings and use the M3U URL which is the most usual type of link for your live TV. Click on it and you'll be able to enter the link. Now just connect your live TV provider to the application and enjoy. Good luck.